Hi everyone, um, here is a ball with mass of 10 kilograms. And it has got an initial velocity of three meter per second. So the mass of the ball, M of the ball is N. And we have mass of the cart. Mass of the cart is 100 kilograms. Kilogram, kilogram. And the, the cart is initially at rest, but the initial velocity of the ball is 3 meter per second. We have a coefficient of restitution between the ball and the wall at A and B is equal to 0 0.5. And we want to find that the velocity of the ball right after the first impact at wall A. So the ball is going that way, hit the ball here, and it just goes back. We want to find that the velocity after the first impact with the wall at A. Uh, this question is with your conservation of momentum, linear momentum. And you know that we got the mass of the ball, velocity of the ball, plus mass of the cart, velocity of the cart, at a stage one or before impact has to be equal to mass of the ball, velocity of the ball, plus mass of the cart, velocity of the cart, or prime or at the secondary stage. And the coefficient of restitution, E is equal to I would say velocity of the cart of the cart prime minus velocity of the ball prime. I mean these two, and then velocity of the ball minus velocity of the cart initially, not at the second before that. So this one is equal to 0 0.5. What do we find out here? We want to find out this velocity of the ball. Um, Sorry, we want to find out the velocity of the ball here. Uh, so at a stage one, um, the mass, uh, the velocity of the cart is zero. So it doesn't have any velocity that has gone to zero. So I would say um, MB, VB is equal to, um, M B B B plus M C B C. They are prime. Uh, so let's get back here. So we know that the velocity of the cart is just zero at the beginning. So I would rearrange this one for E V B is equal to V C minus V B. Both are prime. And I would say like velocity of the cart after the impact is equal to um, keep that bad E V B plus V B prime. Uh, so now that is easy. So I just sub this one into the formula I just got here. So M M B VB is equal to MB. VB oh, well, plus MC. And instead of VC, I put that. I put that E VB plus V prime B. So again, need to rearrange it a bit. So I would say MB VB. I just expand that out and then I will uh, just try to cancel things out. V prime B plus M C E V B plus M C V prime B. So the V prime B or the velocity of the ball after impact, we got it here. So MB 
VB is equal to V prime B MB plus MC plus MC EVB. It's just, I just did the rearrangement for that. And what I need, I need to find out the velocity of the ball after impact. So I would say uh, M D V B. I will get that one to the other side, make it negative minus M C E V B is equal to V prime B M B plus M C. And if I want to get that one, I need to divide the whole things by M B plus M C. So I would divide the whole thing by M B plus M C. I would just clean that up from here. And now I can easily find out the V prime B. So I've got all the value. I've got the mass of the ball, velocity of the ball, mass of the cart, velocity of the ball, E. Yep, I just sub in the values. Uh, let me just do one more rearranging. It's like because the VBs are all the same. So I would say VB times MB minus MCE. Now it's just everything over mass of the ball plus mass of the cart. And now here I would get um, the initial velocity of the ball is 3 times 10 minus 0 0.5 times 100 mass of the cart and all over 10 plus 100. Uh, which I would get um, 1.09 meter per second. 